Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Justin with Siage Scents. I have got 10 clone fragrances today that are just shockingly good. Some of them are so inexpensive that whenever you smell them, you can hardly believe what you paid for them as compared to the quality. So these are all 10 clones, and they are clones that are really good that I would definitely recommend. Now that I'm looking, I think I might actually have 11, so we'll see as we go. All right, before we get going, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that. I've got videos coming out every couple days, and I hope you'll join us. Also, let me know in the comments what are some of the just ridiculous clone fragrances that you've found that you wanna let us know about. All right, first up, this is a new pickup. This is one that is just dirt cheap on fragrancebuy.ca. I think it's around $17, $18. This is a clone of a discontinued fragrance, Armani Code Profumo. It's a very ugly bottle, but that's the way it goes sometimes with these Middle Eastern clones. This is Sapil Bound for Men. Sapil Bound. And so, just like with Code Profumo, you get that uh, apple and uh, mandarin, that sort of sweet, fruity opening, but then as you go into the dry down, you've got, uh, especially, I would say, in the mid and the dry down, it gets more and more similar to Profumo. I would say it's a little synthetic or cheap smelling in the opening, but very soon it starts to dry down. You've got that wonderful tonka bean that you have in the code fragrances. You've got that leather note. They all start to blend together. And about 15 minutes into this, you cannot believe, number one, that you're not actually wearing Code Profumo, and number two, that you got this fragrance for less than $20. It's a great pickup. Even Amazon usually has it for very inexpensive. All right, next up, I've got a fragrance from Riffs, I believe. It could be Reefs, but I think it's Riffs because this is their riff on a fragrance. And this one is a clone of Tiziana Terenzi uh, Kirke or Kirk. I believe the word actually means church. I know it does in some languages, but this is Riffs Le Fleur de Passion. And so what you get with uh, Kirk or Kirke or the seven other ways that I've said it, uh, it is a very sweet fragrance. It's just a fruit bomb. You're going to get a lot of sweet fruits. You're also going to get something that is uh, just a touch aromatic uh, and then in the base, you've got musk, you've got sandalwood, you've got a fairly woodsy base, but the sweetness and the fruitiness really hangs on. You've also got some vanilla in the base. So it's a sweet fragrance through and through. I haven't smelled Zerjoff Herba Pura, but from what I understand, uh, it's very similar. The two are kind of those two niche houses takes on the same fragrance DNA. And so you've got a very fruity, sweet fragrance. It's pretty heavy. Uh, I will say the woodsiness in the base does come out in a surprising way. I've actually been wearing this. It's summer here, it's 90 degrees. I've been wearing only three sprays because this stuff is pretty strong and it's kind of been working for me. You know, fruity fragrances go well in the summer. Even this one is very sweet. Uh, it's still been working for me, although I would say probably fall and spring is where this one will really shine. It's definitely unisex. It's not. It's certainly not too feminine for me. Uh, so unisex, but sweet fruity. Check it out. All right, next up, we're going to go with one that I haven't talked about in a while, but this is one that I was so thrilled to find whenever I discovered what it was. Uh, I don't know if I've heard hardly anybody else talk about this, but this is Ard Al Zafaran's 24 Hours, Oud 24 Hours Majestic Gold. And this one is a clone of Stronger With You Leather. And so kind of what you get is basically just the Stronger With You DNA uh, with a touch of powderiness uh, that's sort of like a, a dusty kind of vanilla that's in this fragrance. And then a very nice leather note, a very well done leather note, almost like a suede leather. It's slightly animalic, I would say uh, authentic in that way, realistic in that way, but you've basically got stronger with you uh, with some slight variations and a leather note that I think makes this one stand out. Uh, I, I prefer, I love leather fragrances, so I prefer this DNA 
to the original Stronger With You. So Oud 24 Hours Majestic Gold by Art Al Zafaron. Very inexpensive fragrance. I think I paid $25 on Amazon for this one. All right, next up, we're going to go with one, whereas the one I just showed you is probably more appropriate for cold weather. This one's really all year round. It really shines in the summer. It's kind of a blue fragrance. This is a clone of Parfums de Marly Sedley. This is Latafa's Mahir Legacy. And this is such an awesome fragrance. It's just this bright, juicy burst of citruses. You've got some grapefruit. You've got some lime. I think you've got some orange or, uh, or maybe it's lemon. But this burst of juicy citrus that you're going to get in the opening with some mint, which is a lovely combination that's been used in a lot of fragrances. And then you're going to get in the dry down, though, something pretty surprising. It becomes a little bit of a warm, spicy fragrance in the dry down, uh, or maybe fresh spicy slash warm spicy. Uh, it reminds me in the dry down a lot of uh, Abercrombie & Fitch First Instinct Extreme, if you've tried that one. They're very similar in the dry down. I would take the opening of this fragrance any day, but this is a great clone of Parfums de Marly Sedley, also very inexpensive, I think, in the low 30s. You can usually pick this one up for all right, next up, we're going to go with one that is a clone of Amouage Reflection Man. And so Reflection Man, whenever it came out, you know, everyone was talking about how uh, it was very similar to Le Mal, Jean-Paul Gaultier Le Mal. And I still think that it's similar to Le Mal. I think that uh, the, um, the fragrance notes in Le Mal, when you read what's actually in it, make a lot more sense to my brain than whenever you read the fragrance notes of uh, Reflection Man because the two smell very similar, but the notes are just as, you know, night and day different. And so this one is, uh, this is Cadillage. Uh, it's uh, Shiaka Black by Cadillage. And this is a fantastic clone of Reflection Man. You've got uh, sort of a uh, lightly powdery, uh, somewhat sweet fragrance. It's got a good bit of freshness as well. It's kind of an aromatic, um, sweet fragrance that works well in the summer. If you ever tried Le Mal, you know you had that kind of uh, vanilla and mint and lavender. This one smells very similar in that it's got that aromatic kind of opening and heart with some good sweetness as well. If you've tried Reflection Man, it's really an all year round fragrance, but it really works great uh, even in the summertime because I, I got it in the last couple months and have been wearing it in the heat and it's working really well. Reflection Man is awesome and so is Shiaka Black. All right, this one is not one I would recommend for the summer, although I think it works great and I've tried it in uh, spring and winter and fall. And I'm talking about a clone of Mugler's Pure Malt. This is Starman Nebula by Fragrance World. If you've been in the fragrance game for a little while, you know that Pure Malt is discontinued along with almost all of those amazing gems from Mugler. And this one, they did a fantastic job of capturing the beauty of Pure Malt. And so this one, it's got a little bit of the uh, a remnant of the uh, original Amen. So it's still got a little bit of that sort of uh, bite of that, all of those aromatic notes and plenty of sweetness. But this one's got a little bit of kind of a barbershop quality to it and a boozy note. It's got uh, cinnamon, it's got, I think it's whiskey, uh, and then there's something in it that uh, is almost like a balsamic quality as well. It's sort of like if you took something like, um, uh, there, uh, there's an Azaro fragrance I'm blanking on, but kind of like a, uh, a little bit of a spicy barbershop fragrance, add a little whiskey note and smash it together with Amen. That's kind of what this one is. So a good clone of Pure Malt by Fragrance World, Starman Nebula, a great pickup, and usually around the low 30s uh, price range, which is fantastic. All right, this next one comes from Alexandria Fragrances, and I've got a ton of Alexandria Fragrances. I've paid for all of them myself. I'm not affiliated or anything like that. I'm just telling you about this one because it's awesome, and you probably want to know about it. And so this one is a clone of 
uh, CH Men Privé, and it's called A Private Man. And so this one is basically that wonderful sort of leather saffron cardamom, uh, you know, strong leather quality that you get with the original CH Men, but it's got a boozy quality that is absolutely awesome. This thing surprisingly reminds me a little bit of like a like a Coca-Cola note or a root beer note or something like that in the opening, but it's just beautiful, spicy leather with some booze. This one is absolutely a killer. I highly recommend it. A Private Man by Alexandria. All right, the next one. This one is a clone of a Tom Ford fragrance, Noir Extreme, one that I don't own, but I've rarely gone through uh, a department store that has uh, Tom Ford fragrances where I haven't, you know, at least picked it up and smelled it, but very often sprayed it on my hand. I love Noir Extreme, but I just can't really do Tom Ford prices. You know, there's uh, reasons why. I think you can get most of those DNAs at a much lower price. This one is a shockingly accurate, super good clone of Noir Extreme. This is just Jack Noir Endurance. That uh, kind of powdery, uh, gourmand, sweet fragrance with a little bit of a floral quality in the heart and some spice. And it's centered around a note that's supposed to mimic the Middle Eastern dessert, Kulfi. This one, Noir Endurance by Just Jack, is absolutely killer. It's hard to find, but if you can find it in stock, it's about a $20 fragrance. And I, I've smelled a couple clones of, of Noir Extreme. Nothing comes close to this one. It is an absolute banger. One of the best quality clones for the price that I own. All right, next we're going to go with one that's just become an, an amazing hype beast. This one is a clone of uh, Dior Sauvage, um, the, the newest one, not x uh Elixir. And so it's Sauvage Elixir. I'm talking, of course, about Latafa Assad. And so uh, I, I have Alexandria's clone of Sauvage Elixir, and I think it's the most accurate clone I've tried. It's beast mode. It's an x concentration, and it is super accurate. I'm talking like 97% accurate. This one's probably more like 90% accurate. It's a little different. It's not quite as explosively powerful. It's maybe a little bit sweeter. It's just a hair less intense, but man, it is a great fragrance. They get the uh, licorice note right. They get the aromatics right. They just, yeah, they even get that sort of uh, the heart of the original Sauvage. They get it all right. It's just dialed back a little bit and man, it is so inexpensive. You can get this in the low $20, even on Amazon. Latafa Assad, I'm sure you've heard by now, but a killer clone of Sauvage Elixir. So last up, this one is a clone of Tom Ford's Bitter Peach. This is Maison Alhambra's Bright Peach. Of course, Maison Alhambra is a branch of Latafa, and man, they totally ate the bottle. I mean, this looks so much like Bitter Peach. All the ones in this line look like the Tom Ford bottles, uh, which is a good thing because they look really nice, and they're really inexpensive, usually between $25 and $30. And this one is a great clone of Bitter Peach. Uh, this one is probably a little more um, focused on a bright peach than Bitter Peach is. The peach is just the standout. It's kind of a little bit of a powdery peach. It even seems to have a little bit of a boozy quality. This is a great clone of Tom Ford's uh, peach fragrance. It's uh, it's okay performing on my skin, I'd say about six hours or so, but I've heard some get way better performance. I've also heard that this line has been discontinued. I don't know if that's true, but if you want it, I would go ahead and pick it up. Bright Peach by Mason Alhambra. So there we go. That has been 10 fragrances that are clones that are just shockingly, insanely good. Let me know down in the comments, what would you add to this list? And again, I hope you will subscribe if you haven't done that. I'll have a video coming out for you every couple days. I'm Justin. This is Siaj Sense. I'll see you on the next one.